Welcome to the CEO's blog for this week, and isn't it fantastic we're right into TAB Carnival Cup season. Last week, Goulburn put on a great performance. Um, good crowd, wonderful racing, and Alta Orlando, he won the Frank and Edna Day Goulburn Cup. Good effort all round there, but now we move on to this weekend, Tamworth kicks it off on Sunday, and then Juni on Monday. At Tamworth, we see a marvellous multi-quip golden guitar final. Jeff Harding, Amanda Turnbull and Cameron Davis each have two starters in the $30,000 race. And as well, on the program, we have two races for locally trained horses sponsored by Hazel's Farm Services. It is fantastic that so many horses and so many trainers patronise Tamworth every year. Whilst at Juni on Monday night, the TAB Carnival Cups will feature the annual Country v City Drivers Invitational Series. Drivers competing this year are Blake Jones, Bruce Harpley, James McPherson, Adam Richardson, Peter McRae, David Morris, Ashley Hart, Will Rickson, Josh Gallagher and Leonard Kane. The Phoenix Accounting and Business Services Juni Cup in the Millbrae Quarries final are the highlight races on the program. And all congratulations to the two Blakes Mickeliff and Jones, who both landed trebles at Juni on Tuesday night. If you can't make it to Tamworth or Juni, all the action, of course, can be seen on Sky One. The Team Teal promotion commences in February again this year. I think this is about the fifth year that um, harness racing across Australia have been combining with our partners to raise funds for ovarian cancer research. All credit must go to the driving force behind this, Duncan McPherson, and of course our major sponsor, Tab Corp. Next week, Harness Racing New South Wales will announce who our ambassadors are for this year. And it's good that we have these ambassadors because what's good about it is they actually earn extra and double the amount of dollars that every other driver, female driver, wins. So how it works simply is when a female driver in New South Wales or any state of Australia wins a race, $100 is donated to ovarian cancer research. So if there are other people out there who wish to come on the journey with us, partner with us and add to that fundraising effort, please contact us here at Harness Racing New South Wales. Contact Katie and she will help you out with how you can support this wonderful cause, a very vital cause, and that's ovarian cancer research. And people, a final reminder, Harness Racing New South Wales is seeking feedback on the 2021 conditions for the New South Wales Breeders' Challenge. This moment, they are proposed, they are where we want to go with them, but if you do have feedback, please put in writing to Harness Racing New South Wales. Like I've said previously, you're better being proactive than reactive when we move forward with these marvellous carnivals. Go to our website, have a look at what the conditions are, and if you do want to make a comment, please do it before next Monday. This past week, Matt Rue hit the 900 win milestone. It was on the choreographer, one of a double at Tamworth last week. Tick tock pocket watch down the outside, Manly Boy, the choreographer in front, raising another effort, it's going to get there, the choreographer has beaten Tick tock pocket watch, I think. Meanwhile, recently, Matt teamed up with Amy Rees and took some vision during the Oberon Cup at Bathurst. The initiative was helmet cam vision used during the Oberon Cup when Matt drove 408. Have a look at this vision, have a listen to the commentary. This is wonderful work by both of them and all credit to Amy. She's a girl that's putting stuff out there for harness racing that will really attract a younger audience and get a greater feel for harness racing. Sale season is just about to start. On Sunday week in Brisbane, the first of the APG sales will be held. New South Wales is well represented in this sale. When I say New South Wales, we have both vendors and of course we'll have buyers, but we are well and truly represented with New South Wales Breeders' Challenge eligible horses. Lot four is a colt by betting line offered by Ricky Ulchin. 
Lot 10 is a cult by Rock and Roll Dance, offered by the Varg family. Lot 31 is a filly by Sweet Lou, offered by Nicky Pagan. Lot 36 is a filly by Bling It On, offered by Monarch Farm. Lot 37 is a trotting cult by Sebastian K, offered by Trump Bloodstock. And Lot 46 is a filly by Art Major, offered by Russell Harpley and Ricky and Jared Ulchin. The benefit in buying these yearlings is that they not only can race in the rich New South Wales Breeders Challenge Series, but they will also be eligible for the Brisbane and Sydney APG races. The Brisbane $100,000 APG graduate race can only be contested by a maximum 50 eligible horses. So the odds are certainly in your favour if you do this. Go to Queensland on January 31, buy one of these beautiful yearlings, New South Wales Breeders Challenge eligible, and race into the future. After Brisbane, the APG sales move to Melbourne and then come back to Sydney for the day after the Miracle Mile. If you don't go to Queensland, there's certainly plenty of horses to buy. New South Wales Breeders Challenge eligible in the Sydney sale, and there are a few also in Melbourne. New South Wales Breeders Challenge offer outstanding prize money, fantastic bonuses, so I strongly encourage you to go and have a look and attempt to buy your future champion. Not too much has changed with COVID-19 protocols in the last week. One thing I have to make very clear is about the hotspots. The hotspots as it stands now for New South Wales are properties, places, restaurants, wherever, where a case has been identified. It currently isn't a suburb or a wide area of Sydney. So whatever you do, make sure you check on those hotspots. And if you have been to one of the places, please do not attend a harness racing meeting. The masks say stay in place in the stable area. That's a necessity. It might be uncomfortable, but it's for the benefit of, of us all. And the only other thing that we're looking at, and hopefully before the carnival, we may be able to relax restrictions on the stables, but that is only a maybe. As I always say, protect one another, wear your mask, Social hygiene is very important with combating the coronavirus. And for all those people who've been reaching out to the Geary family during John's illness, a very big thank you. Uh, John, as I said a couple of weeks ago, is, is suffering ill health and it is really not good for him. So if you can help um, the family, please do so. Uh, if you think we can do more for the family, please ask, contact Morris Logue, and he certainly will help uh, out. When people like this in harness racing, unfortunately, hit hard times, what is really great to see is we all rally together and we all attempt to help out. So if we can say anything, can we please say a prayer for John Geary? Well, that's the blog for this week. Uh, I wish you all the best in ra your racing endeavours. If you can make it to Tamworth, get there. If you can make it to Juni, certainly go there as well. But if you can't, of course, there is plenty of racing on Sky One from New South Wales Harness Racing. As I say, all the best. Enjoy your harness racing. Be positive about our sport and have a great time.